Uh-huh. Why didn't you? Why is it just 10? What about 11? What, uh, uh, what was Jesus? Uh, uh, what color was he? What is he? Are you not asking the real questions? Well, well, where did the celebration of Christmas come from? So I put a disclaimer. I told him, I said, go fuss with your family on your page. Go be mad at your loved ones on your page. Go have issue with your folks on your page. I said, this page is for the people that love this time of year. If you love your family, you just gonna love this time of year. Isn't it funny how they go together? When you cantankerous and contrary and nobody like you, then you, you hate the holidays, birthday. Why are we celebrating birthday? Just not biblical. Why are you wearing them clothes? They not biblical. It's a lot of stuff that doesn't have to be in the Bible, but because we have dominion in the earth, we can do it. If I want to have fun, I can have it. Amen. There was one occasion God told the children of Israel, y'all just have fun. Just party. Like it's 2000 B.C. <laughs> he didn't say all that. But he did tell them to have a good time and just have fun. So we can have fun. Look at somebody say, I'm having fun today. I'm having fun today. I got my Christmas sweater on. Turn the video off. Just, if you, just don't watch it. Why put yourself through that? Turn it off. Why are you trolling? Ain't that trolling? Yeah. AdamandBeliever.com forward slash let it go dot PDF. Let this coming year. Let 2023 be the year that you finally just let this stuff go. Amen. Amen. If you want to be close to God, let me tell you, I get email after email, inbox after inbox. Folks, going on what they call God journeys. This is my journey. This is a part of my God journey. You got to be careful when folks start calling it a journey. It's like, well, what's the journey? It's not a journey. All you got to do is accept Jesus Christ and you're right there. <laughs> Why is it a journey? Because when they go on that journey, they get a head full of foolishness. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Amen. If you want to get close to God, you just have to let go of certain things. There are certain things in your life keeping you from being close to God. That's what we're going to talk about. Amen. Amen. I know you want, may have wanted a Christmas message or something, did you? You don't care. Amen. Now, this is a Christmas message. If Jesus came, if you want him and accept what he did for us by coming, then you got to let some things go. Let this be the year. Look at somebody and say, this is the year that I let it go. Amen. Some folks you think about every day, you need to quit thinking about them. Folks that did you wrong, you wake up, you think about them every day. Don't you understand that's why they did what they did to you? So you'll keep thinking about them. That's what demons do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Look at somebody and say, let it go. So many today want God to change their circumstances and situations without changing their behavior. That's the God journey. Whenever they're going on a God journey, they're going to journey toward God and keep their behavior. Yeah, because if you just change, the Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new There's no journey. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things come new. It's not a journey. It's a journey when, you, when all things haven't become new. Second Timothy 4 and 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after themselves, after their own lust, what they want to do, after what they want to do, they're going to look for teachers to tell them or agree with them so they can do what they want to do. Yeah. That's all the journey is. You journeying by going from place to place trying to find somebody that will let you keep your behavior. Because Jesus won't let you keep it. 
If it's hurting your brother, he won't let you keep it. If it's hurting you, he won't let you keep it. If it's hurting God, he won't let you keep it. Amen. You're going to be journeying forever looking for someone to agree with what you won't let go of. They believe that getting closer to him by only reading the Bible in prayer will magically alter their reality. Yeah, they believe if I get close to God, I'm just going to lock up in my house for a couple of years and just read the Bible and pray. No, that's not the, no, that's not the right formula. Your reality, as soon as you unlock and come out, everything is still there waiting on you. Yeah, John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him and I will raise him up on the last day. So you're not just making a decision to go on a God journey. God has to be in agreement with you. Oh, I just preached in here. Yeah, you select God, he has to select you too. I just read it. Amen. Yeah. Man, that preached, didn't it? This is new age ideology. Sure, we get closer to him by prayer and reading the word, but there are things that we are responsible for that cannot be overlooked. You're part of this. God gave us dominion in the earth. That means we play a part in this relationship. Amen. You don't want to be married to somebody that's not doing their part in the relationship. You don't want to be in love with somebody that's not doing their part. That's a miserable relationship. Amen. First Corinthians 9 and 27. But I keep under my body. This is Paul saying. And I bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means when I preach to others I myself should be a castaway. So he's saying the requirement is even on me. And I'm writing most of the New Testament. But I got to keep my body under subjection. Keep my body under the rule of act right. Oh, see, folk won't, they want God and Jesus, but don't want to act right. We got to take care of our responsibility. Amen. We cannot get closer to God without first giving up the things that are separating us from him. Amen. If there is sin in your life, something that you won't let go of in your life, whatever it is. Bad friend, bad people, a bad job. Amen. You can't work in a strip club and be saved. I'm just a bartender. I don't, I don't be over there with the, with the poles. Brother, you got to get out of there. Amen. But pray every night. I pray every night. I read the Bible every day. Yeah, you go to the strip club every Friday. No, you got to get rid of the things. How you going to get close to God if you don't get rid of what's separating you from him? Amen. Hebrews 12 and 1. Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us do what? Lay aside, Lay aside how many weights? Every weight. Everything that is weighing you down, you got to lay it aside. And the sin which doth so easily, the sin that keeps easily getting you off and run the race with patience. You can't run a race with weights and sin. They can't get an amen on Christmas morning. Amen. Somebody trying to be saved their way. I hate that. Oh, see, that's why I don't like religion. I like relationship. I know why you like relationship. Because it's, it's, it's Burger King. You can have it your way. Wasn't that their motto? Have it your way. But religion, there are rules. Amen. Folk don't want religion, even though 
Jesus, God made religion. He created religion. His laws were first. And all of our laws are based on his laws. The police are enforcing God's laws. The legislative branch of the government, they are enforcing God's original moral code of justice. Who do you think they got that from? They got that from God. I mean, the year that it is came from God. It's 2023 what? A.D. After death. Death of who? Christ. Our whole timeline is based on Jesus. How you gonna let some old nappy-headed Negro talk you out of who Jesus is? Oh, they had nappy. I ain't listening to that. He done made a video. Oh, Pastor, what you think about this? They found the original toenail of the dude that... Boy, you better get somewhere with them YouTube videos. I know Jesus for myself. And he ain't never appeared to me with a human in a human color wrapped in Negro skin. I'd probably reject him if he did that. No, you can't be. No, I hope not. Lord, please don't be one of us. Amen. I'm sorry, y'all. Black folk done gone crazy. I mean, how did we wait to the end time to totally forget who we are? We went through all of that in the 60s and the 70s. Then we finally got a hold of who we were. We were children of the Most High God, saved by Jesus Christ. We were the, we, we worship harder than anybody. We sung better. We had church better than anyone. We were coming from the pain of our affliction, choosing the God of all gods. And now Negroes are worshiping anything. Yeah. Hebrew Israelite, dumb. Yeah. You're dumb. Yeah. Racist, dumb. Yeah. Crystals and sage burning and just dumb. We don't know who we are no more. What happened to us? You're going to let that Egyptian curse of Isaiah 19 come right back into your family. Boys look like animals now. Girls look like sluts and freaks. Husbands deadbeat. Won't pay for nothing. Women are bosses taking care of, picking a man they can take care of. What happened to us? Man, I didn't mean to go here on Christmas, but something happened. We don't know who we are no more. We used to usher in the presence of God like no other race. Now it's another God. And who's black and who's this and who dumb. But it's to turn into something else, huh? We can't go. Amen. It's the truth. It's the truth. Sit at the table for Christmas just to eat. Ten different beliefs at one table. Cousin John believed that we got to call him Yahshua and not Jesus. Cousin Willie, they believe that they have the vow of the Nazarite. So all they had is getting in the mashed potatoes and everything on the table. Cousin Lucy, them, they black Hebrew Israelites. So they can't wait to finish eating so the man can go get back on the street corner. Can't even have a conversation, a civil conversation. Merry Christmas, brother. Oh, <laughs> ain't no Merry Christmas. That, that's not ours. What? Happy birthday, bro. Uh, we, don't, we don't celebrate that. Good luck, dude. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't Irish now. How about bye? 
Does buy mean the same in all the stupid beliefs? Buy, Negro, buy! <laughs> Let me keep going before I say the it, because, man, it is not the even, even in my mouth. Nigh thee. Good gracious, I'm sick of that. I'm so sick. And the crazy thing is they get in all these beliefs. Brother, are you happy? No. Your relationship with your family? Over. Your family all divided and busted up. The whole existence sucks. But you got these new beliefs. Are they working for you? Are your new beliefs working for you? Let me tell you about my belief. My belief in Jesus Christ is working for me. It's working for my family. My family is saved. My children are saved. My wife is saved. We love the Lord. We feel with the spirit of the Lord. We happy. We love each other. We want to see each other. We want to be with each other. We have peace on earth and goodwill toward one another. So why you done shifted gears and don't believe in Christmas no more? How is that working for you? When we attempt to go on a God journey, <laughs> so stupid, without denying our flesh, we end up with the wrong God. Yeah, we're going to end up with the wrong God if you're on a God journey based on your flesh. Luke 9 and 23, and he said to them all, he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him, if any man goes on a journey after me, Here's how you journey after me. Here are the instructions for your journey. Let him deny himself. Take up his cross daily. And then follow Jesus Christ. That's the journey, brother. Those are the instructions. You done packed the bag and went the other way. No, no. Come on back. He's telling you. Deny yourself first. Your color, your race, deny it. Uh-oh. Yeah, deny Negrodom and Negro land and all the, oh God, let me stop. Oh, I gotta keep going. <laughs> I almost said it that time, Herbert. Oh, hey. <laughs> There's children in here. <laughs> Look, <laughs> deny yourself. Take up his cross and follow him. These are the instructions for the God yes. journey. Yes, this is how witches, new agers, and earthy woke folks. Ain't you sick of earthy, yes. crusty, ashy foot, musty underarm, stank hair folks that are woke? Woke. Toes look like rotten pecan shells. Brother, get up. Oh, no, I don't put no chemicals on my feet. Brother, you need some chemicals. <laughs> you, you need, I don't know what the chemicals, I don't know what the compound of Vaseline is. I don't know what they put in that, Dr. Marco. I don't, I mean, but is it safe? It's safe. Doctor said Vaseline is safe. So I need you to coat, coat your feet the corners of your mouth and dig your eyes out brother you're too earthy ain't nothing wrong with being clean that ain't no religion stink just woke up I know you woke but did you have to look like you just woke up I'm sick of woke everything is woke woke And woke folks think they know everything. Brother, you woke up this year. You woke in 2022. And if it'll come on my page and tell me about something I've been doing for 30 years. Brother, I've been studying for 30 years. Not only that, I've been called by God for 30 years. And you've been woke for 30 minutes. And you finna tell me something about what you done learned on YouTube? A source that you can't even validate? You don't even know who said it? Brother, I study books. I read books. I know you're allergic to them, but I read.
feed those. And I serve Jesus Christ and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. So I ain't got no time for you and your woke, dumb wokeness. Oh, you're just arrogant. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Well, you can't tell me nothing. Just woke up. Yeah, but this is how it all starts. The witches and new ages and earthly woke folks. This is how they're created. They go on these God journeys. They got spiritual without denying their flesh. You get spiritual and leave your flesh in the equation. Now you woke. That's why they can tell truth and cuss like sailors. They can tell truth and have all kind of cleavage jiggling and showing. (laughs) They didn't deny their flesh. They didn't take up their cross to truly follow Christ. Brother, don't be exposing everything on TikTok and all that. Oh, this is the exposure channel. Are you exposing anybody to Jesus Christ? Are you exposing anybody to the truth? This practice is a recipe for demon possession. They're demon possessed. They're demon possessed. That's why they can't get along with anybody. That's why they can't stay friends with folks. Folks that just change on you and something happened and they got that look, that's a demon. Nobody want to talk about demon possession anymore. But when they have that look, you know that look. Like you're talking to them and you're like, bro, you, you good? Yeah, man, there's some things, man, we need to discuss, man. Demon. You better get away. That's a demon. The demon possessed. Because once you go on this journey, without Christ's spirit to protect you, you're going to get a head full of demons. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm not burning sage. I, I don't burn sage to ward off evil spirits. I burn it because it just smells good. No, no, we know what you're doing. Well, this crystal, see, I, I wear this one because it matches. My... We know what's going on, dude. You went on a spiritual journey, but you didn't deny your flesh. You went on a God journey, but you kept sleeping around. You went on a God journey, but you kept looking at porn. You went on a God journey and didn't deny your flesh. Recipe for demon possession. First Corinthians 10 and 21. Ye cannot. You know what cannot means? It means it can't happen. He didn't say, I'd rather you not drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. No. He specifically stated because they were worshiping other gods in the temple of Diana. They believed in the whole you know, Zeus and all of them, the, the Olympian gods or whatever who, you know, I'm finding out that some of this stuff is real. Yeah. We'll talk about that a little later in 2023. But some of this mythology, huh. Yeah. Yeah. But they were in there and they were worshiping Diana and all that, you know, the Greek gods where they get the fraternities, sororities, all that kind of stuff. They were all demons. That Paul, uh, uh, Paul called them devils. Right. He said, those are all devils. Yeah. yeah. You pledging to them, stepping to them, whatever they were doing in there, y'all doing it to devils. Yeah. He said, and you cannot, it's impossible to drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Yeah. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Can't be. Look at somebody say, you can't. Yeah. It can't happen. He's telling you now. So on this God journey, you can't go on this God journey with a cup of devils. There cannot be spirituality without Christianity. I hate when people start trying to redefine it. Well, see, brother, I'm not a Christian, but I tell you, well, I am. Christ is in the name. I'm of Christ. I'm like Christ. I'm a Christian. I see, brother, see, you don't know where the original Christians were. Well, the Bible tells us where they came from. Being a Christian simply means to live a Christ-like life. 
Christianity is biblical and the only way to the true God. So if you're not a Christian, you don't have the true God. The only way to the true God is a Christian. Here is where it, don't, don't tell me what you two told you about where Christianity came from. When the Bible tells me where it came from. Right here, Acts 11 and 26. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year, these folks assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called what? Christians, Christians first. I don't need no YouTube robot voice. And I don't need that. You know why I don't have to sit and watch a five hour video like that? Because I ain't mad at nobody. That's the only reason you, you're looking for something so you can debunk something and argue with somebody that you're upset with. That's how you stumbled on that foolishness in the first place. Half your hair braided, the other half a fro. You done went crazy. No, my Bible tells me where Christians were. And when they first were called that. You cannot seek after God without going through Jesus. Ain't no journey to God around Jesus. <laughs> Obedience to some or all the laws will not do it according to the Bible. Now, if you just believe other books, believe other books. But just like you decide to believe that book, I decide to believe the Bible. So we have no argument. Your book says that. My book says this. I believe this. Leave me alone. Eat your mashed potatoes and shut up. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Can't seek after God without going through Jesus. Obedience to some of the laws or all of them or whatever you're trying to do. Study the word, fasting every day and praying is not enough. None of it's enough. Jesus has to be in the equation. John 14 and 6, Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's it. I'm the journey. That's what he said. The way. Ain't, ain't the journey the way? I'm the way. The truth. I'm the truth. Not you two. I'm the truth. Not the bootleg raggedy prophet you listening to. Go see him in person. He can't even talk. But on the internet, he just going crazy. He got all kind of videos. And everybody just, ooh, did you hear what he said? Well, then you meet him in person. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you can't talk to real people. <laughs> Man. No, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. How many men? How many men can go on the journey and find God without Jesus? He said, it's impossible. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You must have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And be drawn to him in order to be in God. You got to make sure you had a born again encounter with God. With Jesus. So you can be drawn to God. He gave his life for us to be able to come. And this process cannot be defied. John 3 and 3. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born. A man be what? Born again. Yeah. You got to be born again. Brother, you can't just decide right. yeah. to do what you saw in a video. Man. You got to be born again. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can't just decide to believe that the earth is flat. You got to be born again, bro. Yeah. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Summary! See, that was quick. I gotta go quick because this sweater is hot. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Mm. <laughs> mm. 
you supposed to say something. Where, <laughs> turn the air on. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Where, <laughs> when we decide to make changes, hold on. There we go. When we decide to make changes and get close to God, we must make sure we are seeking Jesus. We must make sure we are desiring to believe like Christ and accept all of his commands. We cannot come to God and keep back a portion of ourselves. I've had folks, I mean folks use drugs. The main one is shacking. So I get it all the time. They living together. And they contact me, whatever. And my first question, when are y'all getting married? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to know, how can I get closer to God? When you getting married? You shacking. And that's not fair. Us real men, we have to marry and put something on it and take care of it. We can't get the milk. What the, what's the saying? Get the milk for free. We got to buy the cow. And you just living up in there, yeah. Just anytime you get ready, you can bounce. I said, bro, you, you can't keep living together. You, you, you gotta get married. Okay, well, thank you. A <laughs> couple of months later, I look on their page, they done went on the God journey. Yeah. Yep. Hair is different, breath is different, <laughs> lips have metamorphosized. You know, you got to keep smoking weed when you're living in sin. That's what weed is for. Make sin feel better. <laughs> Man, I'm preaching it here. I will preach. That's what you need weed for. You need weed. Yes, you do. Yeah. And all you have to do was just draw the line. If he don't want to marry you, why is he living with you? Just draw the line. He... But some of them don't want to marry him. They don't trust him. They just want a warm body to lay next to. But you, 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 your journey is messed up. That ain't no God journey. You're going to get a head full of demons. Yeah. So you can't come to God and keep back a portion of ourselves. We, he requires everything. He requires all of the sin. All of the sin. You can't keep sin. He requires it all. Give it all up. All of the shame. All of the fleshly desires and all of the carnal lust. All of it. He wants it all. He wants you to bring it to him. Some of it you struggle with. He wants to help you out of the struggle. Amen. Some stuff may not be instantaneous. You've been a fool for a long time. But he wants to work that process out of you. But you got to be willing to give it up. Oh Lord, turned into a hole in this message on a Christmas morning. Somebody just wanted, he was born in a manger. <laughs> I can do that too if I felt it was effective. You know that story. You don't need it em emphasized. Amen. He requires all of the knowledge of self. That's your self-discovery you went through when you went through trauma. When you go through trauma and pain, you go on this knowledge of self, self-adventure to study and find who you are. Yeah. Who am I? I'm the chosen. <sighs> he wants that. All of the pain, all of the fear, and all of who we are. Whatever we keep back and refuse to surrender will come between us and the promise he made us. If we truly want to live a life pleasing to God, we must deny ourselves and be obedient to him. Sure, it's a process. Look at somebody say, it's a process. God's still working on all of us. It's a process, dude. We all in there getting worked on. Everybody has slip ups and, you know, old man will wake up one day before you woke up. You gotta pull him on back in the bed. 
Don't you get up before I get up. Don't get up before my devotion. Amen. Somebody make you mad? Just old instincts come back? Your trigger finger get the... <laughs> Amen. Amen. You playing Monopoly and the dice start looking like something else. Uh, is this game over? Can I keep those? You know what that means. Old man coming back. You got to keep him down. So it, look at somebody and say, it's a process. It's a process. And sometimes it's like a journey. It is like a journey. A process is a journey. But the path to God is through Christ and not through our own ideas. I'm preaching Christmas morning. Yes. Let go of the new age trinkets, the sage, the crystals, the tarot reading cards. That's the dumbest thing. And the horoscopes. That's dumb. Let go of it. Let go of the idols. That's the desire for fame, money, views, light, accolades, and notoriety. Those are idols. Let go of lust, fornication, adultery, shacking, voyeurism. That's always looking at folks' bodies. Masturbation, pornography, etc. Let it go. Let go of emotional sins. See, these emotional sins open you up for all of these other sins. The emotional ones are the worst. The six things Jesus, I mean, God said that he had, the seven things he said he hates were emotional sins or the result of an emotional sin. Sowing discord, hatred, malice, unforgiveness, slander, gossip, discord, seditions. Let go of false gods, secret societies, and black. Greek letter organizations and secular music. You know, folks getting heads full of demons listening to this music. You know somebody that was saved and a true believer in God and start listening to Janae Aiko. And now she burning sage and everything. And wondering what's wrong with us. Mm-hmm. But let go of it. Charms and statues. My great, great, great big mama left me this charm. I wear it every day. Throw it away. It's got a false god on it. Throw it away. Let go of the charm, the statue. Let go of the Egyptian, Indian, and African paraphernalia. Amen. But the Egyptian lover, that's my jam. Get rid of that record. <laughs> I know it's a record. It has to be a record. <laughs> All the Indian paraphernalia. Oh, that's Native American. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about India. Yoga. Yeah, yoga. Amen. And African stuff. Niglets and... Oh, I'm just getting very close. I, I mean, I, I, thank God I'm taking a break. It is not. It is not. But the African stuff, you don't need that stuff. Post up a big old booty on your wall. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out why it's a big butt on the wall. What is this? Oh, well, my grandson painted that and he. It's in the house. Don't they be having them statues and naked? <laughs> but that's art. <sighs> Get rid of it. Get rid of the Indian African paraphernalia. Let go of the self as God complex. That's the LGBTQPRS17 10. <laughs> Get rid of that. That's a complex. Gay person has a complex. Yeah, lesbian, that's a complex. Yeah. Black Hebrew Israelite, that's a complex. That's why I'm better than you complex. 
That's all they do is sit out there all day yelling at folks, trying to convince them that they're better than them. Yeah. It's a complex. It's really, they really need psychiatric help. Yeah. Five percenter. That's a complex. You believe that only five percent of the nation of, of the population really knows what's going on? Boy, aren't you special? Can't take none of it in the, to the bank. And you getting five percent of your deposit. <laughs> and the hip hop culture, that's a complex. Yeah. You felt like you couldn't do better, so you started celebrating bad. It's a complex. The do what thou will, sacred namer. Sacred namer, you think God rather hear you than me because you call Jesus by his sacred name. You call God by his Hebrew name, and I say God, and you think he likes you better. It's a complex. Law keepers, you believe that if you keep the law, he'll like you better. Well, it's got quiet, didn't it? That's because I'm preaching. Yeah. Vow makers, you're taking vows. Why are you taking a vow to Nazarite? A, 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 a pig shall not touch my throat. <laughs> Jesus did away with all of that. And all he's telling you to do is follow him. Yeah. You don't have to do any of that. He's paid all of that. He paid all of those sacrifices. He made you a joint heir. You're already a joint heir. Yeah. You can't get no higher than a joint heir. Yeah. A joint heir is a joint heir. So after you've done all of that, you're going to come to Jesus and I'm going to be standing right there, right there. Just, just as joint as you. Yeah. With my hair cut. <laughs> calling him Jesus. In order to truly find God, we must all do what Jesus did. We must give up our lives for him. 1 John 3 and 4. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness because sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins. <laughs> who appeared? Jesus. To take away sin. And in him, there is no sin. That's how he can take it away. Because there's none in it. Right. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. That's right. Amen. That's right. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. That's right. Little children, let no one deceive you. Don't let YouTube deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous. As he is righteous. So, what's the measure of righteousness? He. So, brother, don't come slapping me five and telling me, be righteous, brother, unless you talk about being like Jesus. Because he just defined how to be righteous. You got to be righteous like Jesus. Not like Moses. Not like Abraham. Not like Paul. You got to be righteous like Jesus. He said, be righteous Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Yes. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. Yes. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Yes. The reason the son of God appeared. Who is the son of God? Jesus. Jesus. The reason Jesus appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning. For God's seed abides in him. Who is God's seed? Jesus. He cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God who were successful in their God journey. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God. Nor is the one who does not what? Love his brother. Everyone stand to your feet. Oh, the word will preach. It's time to let this stuff go.
And it may not just be you, it may be your family, whatever. Oh, I want to pray that God begins to help folks let this stuff go. So we can get along, we can love, we can be together, we can just stop this bickering and this arguing, being contrary and always having a problem with something because we have problems. If you want prayer for that, just come on up. We're going to believe God. Let it go. Let it go. So my voice will stop being a scratchy chalkboard to you. It's just cringing when I'm preaching because, just, oh, he's on my road. Ooh, he's on my, in my lap. Ooh, he's in my wallet, my purse. He just, I, no, it's the truth doing that. That means that something needs to change. So we're going to let it go. Let this stuff go. 2023 is going to be way better when you let this go. Promise you. 2023 is going to be good. This stuff needs to go. Sneaking and creeping and hiding. And it's got to go. It's got to be a better year. Amen. Sin has to go. All of the things, the paraphernalia, just it, whatever it is, you know what it is. It's got, it's got to go. And we all are, like I said, it's just like a journey. But we're going through Christ. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Everyone bow your heads. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We just thank you for this message. Thank you, God, for another Christmas, another 25th, another year coming, even in the coming week. And we just <clears throat> thank you, God, for just being so wonderful to us and bringing us through this week, bringing, I mean, this month, this year, bringing us this far through this year, a terrible year for many, many we lost, many are not with us, and just things we've had to go through. But God, you've kept us, so we thank you. And Father, we pray right now, Lord, even on our own walk or our journey or whatever we want to call it, help us, Father God, to let go of the sins that easily beset us. Let us just lay aside the weight, Father God, that we've been carrying. Free us, Lord. Free us, Lord. Give us a path to victory, Lord. So we will have the victory that Jesus died for. Victory over sin. Victory over the evil one. Give us that, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everyone lift your hands. And Father God, we ask, Lord, that this year we don't carry over the things that we carried this past year or may have carried for years. All of the things that you are not pleased with, all of the things you want us to lay aside, all the things that you require of us, the things that you require for us to cast down. Father God, we pray right now that you would give us courage like never before. Give us, God, an unction to get rid of the things that are coming between us and you. We believe that Jesus died for this very reason so that we might live, have life and more abundantly. So God, we ask right now for your help in these areas. Help us to live the life that is pleasing to you and a life that frees us from dysfunction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a wonderful Christmas morning. Hallelujah. On your way to your seats, just hug somebody and say, let it go. Say, I let it go too. Let it go. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.